going to be a spoiler review of The Incredibles 2. Because my last Incredibles... Oh god, it smells like it. Because it's worth all. My last Incredibles 2 video has like over 300 views. It's absolutely crazy. So go to my channel. Go to my channel, okay? And I'm going to go to my... It's actually, surprisingly, my most popular video on my channel. It's got 316 views. But yeah, spoiler review of The Incredibles 2 because... I mean, I just got back from it, like, last night. It was crazy. I put it on my discussion tab. Which, by the way, let me know how I can get that on iOS if there's a way. Because I want to see it down there. And how I can get the community tab, too. I'm wearing my new sweater. It's comfortable. It's very comfortable. I wish you could feel it as well. And, uh, yeah. So, starting off with the opening scene. The opening scene, I mean, is with... Tony, who's who actually looks surprisingly different. When they recreated that scene, I was like, wow. Because, like, watching it, watching the ending scene from the first film, it looks so old, like, from the 1980s and all that. But then when you when it's recreated, it's like, it's like, you didn't, it's like, I didn't even notice until I watched it in comparison. I was just like, oh my god. But, like, it changed a lot. And then it makes you think that Tony would be screen slaver, which actually, that's not the case. Because when I was watching it, the first time, it was like, I was thinking that, I was like, oh, what if he's Screen Sleeper? But he's not. Screen Sleeper is just a random hypnotized beats guy. Surprisingly enough. Actually, I someone commented that on my on the past Incredibles 2 video. Check it out. Uh, it'll appear in the top. It'll appear in the iCard. And, um, yes. That was made back in May, which is crazy. A long time ago. A long time ago. Like, someone commented that. And I thought they were joking, but not. And then we go to the next scene where it's like, uh, it's so it's like a two-hour film, so it's so long that like I don't remember the whole thing. It starts. Oh, it's the fight. It's the the underminer, and it's like a bunch of there's like fighting scenes and all that. And then yeah, there's like Frozone comes into the action. He stops the thing. He stops the big giant under. I don't know, I said drill. He stops the drill from going into the, like, this big, massive drill that he stops from going into the city hall, I'm pretty sure. And then he escapes, because the cops show up, and then one of the guards that, I don't know if it's a guard, but, like, one of them come in with, that works for Winston, that Winston talks about. Later, we get into the Winston, I'm just gonna skip the non-important stuff, like, you know, just them at the house, no, I'm gonna skip that. They begin to part where Winston meets Mr. Incredible, the last girl, and Frozone talks about how to make superheroes right and uh, legal again. I'm sorry, my hair is messed up. I mean, actually, I wasn't even planning on recording this today, but then I was like, after I got done, I was like, I need to make this video. And, uh, you know, they talk about making superheroes legal, and then Evelyn Daver, Daver, Danver, some, something like that, she comes in. And then they talk about their father dying from superheroes being illegal because, like, someone breaks in, tries to contact one of the superheroes, they can't, and then he dies. Well, his father, not Winston, and all that. Then a bunch of non-important stuff goes down, like stuff of the house with uh, the baby, with, the, the, with, the, with Bob finding out the baby's powers and stuff like that. Then they go to Edna, well, Bob goes to Edna, and then they try to figure out how to make, I'm probably, I might put pictures throughout the video, I'm not quite sure about that. Then, yeah, Edna takes care of the baby while Bob sleeps for 17 hours, which, uh, I've never slept that long before. No, I haven't. Maybe I have. And then it's a bunch of house stuff again. That's pretty sure. We're gonna get into the ending scene, though. I don't want to make this video too long. So we'll just make the important stuff. And then, oh, actually there's the fight with Screen Slaver, which actually shows who Screen Slaver is because, like, there's a bunch of stuff going going down, you know, with the fight and all that. She's, Alaska was, like, walking around the house that Screen Slaver lives in, and then he appears, and they have this big battle. He tries to hypnotize her, but it doesn't work. Like, in the shot in the trailer, when he tries to hypnotize her, that doesn't work. It just didn't. It has no effect. I'm gonna do this because I'm getting hot from the sweater. And then the next thing is that she pulls the mask off him and his blonde guy. 
it's just completely random long guy that just, you know, makes it, makes it weird and then he gets arrested. And then we go into the party scene when he's looking through the photo, the video that's like slowly playing. And it's just like, wait a minute. And then it reveals that Evelyn Damber, Damber is the screensaver, the real screensaver, the real big screensaver. She hypnotizes the last girl and then... Mr. Incredible goes to save her, and then she gets hypnotized, I mean, sorry, he gets hypnotized by her, the last girl, she, like, puts the goggles on him, and then they get hypnotized, and then Frozone goes to take care of the kids, and then the other bad guys, I mean, not the other bad guys, but the hypnotized superheroes show up, like, Void, and that was the only one I mentioned, like, I don't remember, I don't remember the other ones' names, because, like, I don't pay attention to the movie that much, I just watch it, and then a big battle goes down at the end, you know, with all of them, and they all try to get the goggles off them, which they end up winning, and that's pretty much it. They win, and then they go back to the house, actually, and then Violet goes to Tony, and then they kind of re-meet in the school instead of the track meet, they go to the movies, and then... It pretty much ends kind of like how the same one for the first one ends. Like, they put their masks on, everyone is all, like, good to go. And instead of just them going, like, like, here, I'll, I'll show you for example. Like, instead of, I'm going to just zip it up so I'm just trying, instead of them going, like, instead of them going, like, that, showing the symbol, I got, I got it. Dang it. Instead of them showing, like, the symbol at the end, and, and like, zooming into it, and, like, the car just drives away and then it, like it ends. <laughs> That's pretty much it. So yeah, quick little review of The Incredibles 2. We're at seven minutes right now. And uh, I guess that's all I gotta say. Like I said, there was no plans at all on recording a video today. My schedule showed like the next date after the EV stream was gonna be the 16th. But then, cause I didn't know if I was gonna see The Incredibles 2 and then I figured I was gonna. But be sure to subscribe to me in the top left hand corner. On either side, so I don't know which one it goes on. Because whenever I point at this side, my it goes that way, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to say this side. Goes, subscribe to me in this corner, and uh, check out two other videos if you haven't already. My most recent upload was the Augments Out Reaction. Check it out, or it will be right here. And then another video that I'll just randomly choose. That's the best for viewer. So I'll uh, see you guys in, in the next video. Peace out.